All right, let's continue this XL journey. Now, if you ask any sports fan to name an athlete that would be considered the greatest of all time, the GOAT, Michael Jordan would definitely be a name that you would hear. Now, his rise from outstanding basketball player to basketball phenomenon started in 1991 with an NBA championship and an orange drink called Gatorade. You know, back then, everyone wanted to be like Mike. 1991 gave us a lot of iconic moments, but after 26 years, one still stands out above the others. Before like Mike, did you have a song that everyday fans like a jingle that you could associate with Michael Jordan. No. I don't know that there had been an athlete before Michael Jordan or since Michael Jordan to have his own jingle the way McDonald's would have jingles and, and Pizza Hut would have jingles but like an, in, as an individual with a jingle. Michael Jordan had a jingle. Like Mike comes right after Michael Jordan wins his first NBA title, and that's crucial. Jordan comes away with it, and the Chicago Bulls have won their first ever NBA championship. When you think about who Michael Jordan's constituency was, he was a Chicago guy, he had, he had the Chicago constituency, he had his North Carolina constituency, he had an African American constituency, uh, had some mainstream crossover appeal, but hadn't quite uh, capitalized on it yet, but when he wins that first title, signs with Gatorade, now he's able to go from a regional star with some national appeal to a full-blown national and international marketing entity. You think about the shots that define Michael Jordan's career, before there was a shot over Byron Russell where he may or, not, may, or may not have fouled Russell. Chicago with the lead! There was the shot over Craig Elo, right, to beat Cleveland. There was all those years they couldn't get past Detroit. And in between that, you have uh, the double pump layup against um, L.A. And that's one of the first shots you see in that commercial, right? And these are three shots that, that define Michael Jordan's career. But again, it, it happens, and this Gatorade ad campaign happens like at the perfect time. We enjoy competing against one another. Yeah. It, was, it was the greatest time for me. It was a time you know, Michael is at his all-time high. And a lot of young kids, especially if you were the, if you were the guard or if you were the player who, who liked that, that Jordan brand, yeah. you, you loved Michael Jordan. And uh, he was a guy, a lot of people, man, everybody loved Mike. Everybody loved Mike. So I thought the movie was fitting be like Mike, because you know, a lot of kids, that's who they emulated. It emulated a lot of us, but kids always go emulate their hero. And in that era, it was a lot of heroes. Originally meant as a challenge to be like the greatest of all time, Like Mike wasn't just a marketing campaign, but a pop culture movement. Yes, Nike and Jordan had had this relationship before Jordan exploded into this, this worldwide phenomenon. But Gatorade, they kind of get on just as he's about to take off, who became, who wound up setting this, the sports marketing standard. And again, um, anyone who comes along after that, like no relationship is gonna be a significant because Michael Jordan and Gatorade did it first. 